Good morning, everybody. Today, I'd like to show you my Super Sherman, Israeli Super Sherman, made by Academy Models, and uh, show you what I did with it. It's uh, all painted in enamel oils, and uh, it took a while to do, but it was a lot of fun. I took the characters on there and I sculpted with Milliput um, some vests and cold weather jackets on them. Uh, I don't know if they're Israeli uniform standard issue or whatever. I just made one guy with a bomber jacket and the other two guy with these vests that had the uh, sheepskin collars and stuff on them. So it was just for fun. <clears throat> But as you can see, I added a lot of uh, extra little details, chains and stowage, and made the antennas hook up with tie downs and stuff. Um, so it was a lot of fun. Uh, covered the whole thing in dull coat, <clears throat> which gave it that sun bleached, washed out appearance. Kind of blended the uh, markings, the lettering, and the decals into the uh, model. <clears throat> so they look like they're sun bleach too and uh, just had a lot of fun with it I didn't muddy up the tracks too much because I figured it's dry desert kind of stuff even though it's cold um, but, so I just dusted them out I didn't cake them all with mud and I wanted it to look like it was not in a battle but like they were just getting ready gearing up <clears throat> getting their supplies ready the Israeli flag on the back is hand painted and that's done with masking tape folded together, sticky side together and then just used an X-Acto knife to shred the bottom of it. <clears throat> but all that's hand painted on masking tape and then added the stowage in. Some of the strapping that you see uh, that runs over stuff is also masking tape that's painted up. The tarp that you see there <clears throat> is a heavy uh, paper made from the paper that you can get at Home Depot for masking your windows at your house when you're doing painting at house painting and you soak it in water and then get it all squishy and then squish out all the water that you can <clears throat> and crumple it up, roll it in a ball, smash it up, smash it in your hands and get all the wrinkles that you want in, the folds that you want in. And then I, uh, <clears throat> I took some clamps to clamp the folds in. Uh, this paper is pretty good and a lot of times that you can just bend and crease it and squish it and the folds will stay. But I wanted these folds to be specific like that and they kept opening up. So I uh, clamped them down till the paper dried <clears throat> and then it pretty much stays there. And then I covered the whole thing in dull coat. Uh, with a light brown wash which really didn't change the color of the paper any that's, that's pretty close to the color of the paper um, and covered it in dull coat to kind of lay down some of the fuzz um, and up close it looks more like a wool blanket than it does a tarp but it made a great effect and I could make it the way I wanted it and so this is my Israeli tank and a lot like the uh, tanks the American soldiers did, they painted on the barrel. I also painted in uh, Hebrew text a word on the side of the barrel there. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'll, for those of you who know Hebrew, I'll let you figure it out. And uh, anyway, the toughest part was painting the figures. The figures, I'm still not very good at it, I'm just an amateur. But the figures, yeah, I got a lot of work to do. The uh, light there is done with a chrome pen paint, a paint pen that you can get at Hobby Lobby. And uh, then just added the extra stowage and stuff on there to create this model. Anyway, that is my Israeli Super Sherman tank. It's the Academy model kit with a little extra stowage added to it and uh, 135th scale 
and I put a lot of detail into it. There's more detail than I can actually show you very well with my cell camera, uh, cell phone camera. And uh, but anyway, uh, added little chains. Uh, the tow cable, if you can see it there, is actually actual braided wire and uh, various different little touches like that. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, keep on building, having fun. Enjoy yourself and find yourself some hobbies to do because it's a lot of fun to have a little creative stuff to just play with and make a little bit different than straight out of the box. All right. We'll talk to you later. Bye.